and I am the CEO of Simply Me Magazine. Simply Me Magazine is a magazine that caters to plus size individuals, to plus size beauty. And the reason why it's plus size beauty is because plus size people have been getting the backseat on a lot of market, or the industry, the corporate world, uh, LA, everywhere, it looks at 357. And so we've always taken the back seat to 357. So I asked the Lord if he could give me something, and he gave me a magazine, and it was about plus size individuals. Now the magazine is not telling the plus size individual to lose weight, it says if you're big, get in shape. And know that God created you with a purpose, while he makes and molds you back into the image that he has called you to be. So within September, we'll pray for September to be the first, um, first month that we will be issuing the Symphony Magazine. So I ask that you look for Symphony Magazine in a store near you. Uh, I'm looking for a plus size individuals who like to model. I'm looking for writers. We advertise so you can buy ads. If you like poetry, you can do poetry. Whatever your heart desires, it is, remember, a plus size magazine. So we want to do cater to plus size. Okay? Amen. that I want to recognize. Where is he? In the cave. <laughs> He's chilling over there. He's relaxing, I guess that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Pastor Cecil is um, from my area, Little Elm. He's going to be starting a church in Little Elm as well. And so God is really um, using his people. His people are really coming to the forefront. And so I want to say thank you for coming out today. Um, <laughs> His wife is also um, very blessed in the gift of poetry, and she's going to share one of her poems with us on today. Miss Donna Berry. Amen. How is everybody? I know it's hot. Hot. We came to praise the Lord. We had better do that while we have a chance to do that. I don't have my glasses on, so bear with me. This poem is called, My Child Let Me Teach You. And the reason why I wrote it is because I am tired of hearing children saying they don't want to be taught things. Mm -hmm. And they refuse to be taught this or refuse to be taught that. And I, I decided to write a poem to explain to the children why we as adults must teach them things. And then, on the other hand, I'm tired of hearing adults giving up on children and saying, oh, just forget it, I won't teach you that, it's too hard. Um, this, the other side of this poem is so that adults will understand why you must not give up on the children and why you must continue to teach them. So it's called, My Child, Let Me...